Here at Wargaming, we're celebrating 100 years of tanks. How are we celebrating 100 years of tanks? Two ways, with the new Centennial tank and with a trench warfare mode using the original classic Mark I tank. So the Mark I tank is the first tank ever made. It's this giant slab of metal that was originally had two jobs, it defeat ground troops and cross trenches. So we wanted to take that thing and say, what if this thing had to fight itself? The first time I heard the idea, I was like, that's interesting. I could not wait to see what the design team would come up with. We got really, really excited. It was gonna be awesome. This is something like we've never done in World of Tanks and it is a chance to kind of change the way you play World of Tanks. Uh, I don't remember who it was, but we were in a design session and someone said, flamethrowers, and we all kind of went. Originally, when I was told that we needed a flamethrower, I thought to myself, I've got just the thing. So we were out recording a handful of tanks in Minnesota last March, and at a certain point, the owner of the tanks produced a flamethrower, and we immediately charged him and surrounded him with microphones and got amazing flamethrower recordings. So the map itself just looks incredible. You have the trenches, you have the barbed wire, there's pillboxes everywhere, there's flames shooting out of them, there's mortars landing, shooting plumes of dirt. To me, it's like this grim, this gritty trench warfare. When I finally got a chance to play it, it blew my mind. They absolutely nailed it. The Centennial tank is a tier eight UK premium medium tank. Uh, it's really awesome. It's got like barbed wire and sandbags on top of it. The design of the Centennial tank kind of harkens back to the World War I tanks uh, in that we've, we've added things like barbed wire on a tank, which is something we haven't done uh, before. And it's just to kind of keep people off the tank, you know, soldiers couldn't get on the tank, very much like the trenches of World War I. Can't get through them, it's a lot more difficult to get to this thing, it makes it look a little meaner and tougher. Basically, it's a hybrid of two tanks. The hull is this Chieftain Mark VI tank. The turret is based off of the American T-95 turrets. There were two different tank programs that were working at the same time, and this was a hybrid of the two. It never got made because the crew training requirements for using two different gun systems was going to be too intense, but in World of Tanks, we can bring it to you, and it's really cool to finally see it on the battlefield moving around. It's a very good support tank, but its strongest asset is its gun depression, where it could just cause a lot of pain. Well, there's a lot of love in it, both from the mechanics and from the aesthetics. To get your Centennial tank, you can either buy it or you can earn it with the Fight for the Centennial op. To complete the op and earn your tank, you're gonna need to earn points. You earn points by destroying tanks and winning battles, or by winning a battle in the Special Trench Warfare mode. During the event, the Centennial is gonna get times two correct speed. Also, if you bought it in a bundle, you're gonna get a random loot drop for every win in the tank. The event also features two limited time medals. One, the Mark I medal, which you get for winning in the Trench Warfare mode, and the Centennial medal, which you earn by completing the fight for the Centennial op. I'm excited to share the history and help celebrate 100 years of tanks. And getting to work around so many different types of historical vehicles gives you a lot of respect for the engineering and craftsmanship that went into these things. And being able to uh, present something that kind of harkens back to the, the formation of this type of vehicle, something that's so completely innovative and changed the face of the battlefield. It's an honor to be able to work on something like that. Like our fans, I'm really into all things military. And so to reflect on 100 years of tanks, it, it's just really cool that we could bring this acknowledgement of that history into the game. I think it's totally unique and totally cool.